Hi Grade 7! For today, our topic is solving problems involving algebraic expression. And it was based on Mathematics 7, Quarter 2, Module Number 7. This is from LRMDS Bulacan. Thank you and congratulations to the development team of this module. Credits to the author, language reviewer, content editor, illustrator, and layout artist of this module. Hi, what lovers! Are you ready? Let's learn! Have fun! Because mathematics is fun! What I need to know This module has different activities that will help you in understanding the problems involving algebraic expression. At the end of this module, you are expected to identify the steps in solving problems involving algebraic expression. Number two, apply the steps in solving problems involving algebraic expression. What I know Turn your module to page 3 Let's answer the pretest Identify whether the following statements are true or false Write true if the statement is true and false if it is not What's in? Can you guess the name of the person in the picture? To find the answer, identify the formulas in finding the perimeter and area of figures and write the letter corresponding to your answer found in the box. You can use the given clue to arrange the jumbled letters. Here is our clue. He was an Arabian mathematician at around 820 AD and he was awarded as the father of algebra. Who is he? Now here is our clue. For number one, two letters. Number two, two letters. Number three, two letters. Four, two letters. Five, one letter. And six, two letters. Now here are the given formulas. Let's answer number one. The area of a rectangle is the product of length and width. We have area is equal to length times width, that is AL. Let's proceed to question number 2. The area of a triangle is half of the product of base and height. Area is equal to 1 half BH, that is KH. Question number 3. The perimeter of a square is 4 times of its side. Area is equal to 4 times side. And that is WA. Question number 4. The perimeter of a triangle is the sum of its sides. Perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. And that is RI. Question number 5. The perimeter of a rectangle is the sum of twice its length and twice its width. Perimeter is equal to twice the length plus twice the width. And that is Z. Question number 6. The area of a square is the square of its side. Area is equal to S squared, and that is MI. He is al Quariz, the father of algebra. What's new? When solving problems, it is not unusual to 
work on a problem for some time only to find out that in the end that your analysis is wrong and you have to start all over. Do you give up or do you start all over again? Do you know him? He is Henry Boyd. He describes that failure is an opportunity to begin again intelligently. Do you agree? Word problems could be your worst enemy, or they can be the key to your passing your next math S. A word problem is a math problem written in words. You won't have 1, 2, 6, 4, 5, 3, 4, or random written math expression to solve a word. You need to come up with and write it yourself. Now you're ready to apply the skills in solving various real life problems and situations. What is it? For our topic, we have problems involving algebraic expression. Problems involving algebraic expression. In solving problems involving algebraic expression, the different steps must be followed. Number one, the given. You have to identify the given or you have to list the given data. Number two, operation. What operation to be used? Number three, solve the problems. You have to show your solution to find the answer. And number four, always check your work. Let's have example number one. The cost of x plus 3 ball pen is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 pesos. What is the cost of each ball pen? Now here is our solution. For step 1, identify the given. We have here x plus 3 is the number of ball pen. 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 is the total cost of the ball pen. For step 2, the operation to be used. In this given problem, we have to divide. For step 3, we have to solve the problem. We will divide 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 by x plus 3. First, let's divide 2x squared by x. Our quotient is 2x. Next step is to multiply. 2x multiplied by x plus 3 is 2x squared plus 6x. Now let's subtract. Change the sign of the subtrend. We cancel it out. 7x plus negative 6x is x. Then bring down 3. Then let's proceed to the first step. x divided by x is equal to 1. Now let's multiply. 1 multiplied by x plus 3 is equal to x plus 3. Then we will subtract. We have to change the sign of the subtrend. We cancel x and we cancel 3. Our final answer is 2x plus 1. For step 4, we have to check your answer. We will use the FOIL method. 2x plus 1 multiply by x plus 3. Multiply the first term. 2x plus x is equal to 2x. Then multiply the outer term. 2x plus 3 is 6x. Then multiply the inner term. 1 times x is x. Lastly, multiply the last term. 1 times 3 is 3. Now we will simplify. We will combine the similar terms 6x and x. So our final answer is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. The cost of each ball pen is 2x plus 1 pesos. Now let's have example number 2. What is the area of the rectangle whose width measures 4x minus 2 and length of x minus 7? Now here is our solution. For step 1, identify the given. 4x minus 2 is the width and x minus 7 is the length. Now here is the illustration of a rectangle with length and width. For step 2, what operation to be used? 
we need to multiply because area is equal to length times width. For step 3, we have to solve the problem. We will use the FOIL method. 4x minus 2 multiplied by x minus 7. For the first term, we have 4x times x is 4x squared. Outer term is 4x times negative 7, that is negative 28x. Our inner term is negative 2 times x, negative 2x. For the last term, we have negative 2 times negative 7, we have positive 28. Now let's simplify. We can combine negative 28x and negative 2x. Our final answer is 4x squared minus 3x plus 28. So in this given problem, our answer is the area of the rectangle is 4x squared minus 3x plus 28. Example number 3. The three sides of a rectangle measures 3x squared plus 5x minus 7, 6x squared plus 18, and 18x squared minus 2x minus 7 respectively. Now find the perimeter of the triangle. Here is our solution. First step, identify the given. We will represent A is equal to 3x squared plus 5x minus 7, B is equal to 6x squared plus 18, and C, 18x squared minus 2x minus 7. Now here is our illustration for triangle. We have the measure for each side. For step 2, operation to be used. We have to add because perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. Step 3. Solve the problem. Here is our illustration. We will use the formula perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. We will add 3x squared plus 5x minus 7, 6x squared plus 18x, and 18x squared minus 2x minus 7. Then let's add. Make sure to align the similar terms. Negative 7 plus 18 plus negative 7 is positive 4. 5x plus negative 2x is positive 3x. 3x squared plus 6x squared plus 18x squared is 27x squared. So our final answer is 27x squared plus 3x plus 4. So in this given problem, our answer is the perimeter of the triangle is 27x squared plus 3x plus 4. Are you ready to enter your module? Good luck! What's more? Independent activity number 1. Turn your module to page 7. You have to solve each problem. Independent assessment number 1. Turn your module to pages 7 and 8. Use the information to tell whether the following statement is true or false. Write the answer on your notebook. Dependent activity number 2. Turn your module to page 8. To solve this riddle, solve the following problems involving algebraic expression. Independent assessment number 2. Turn your module to page 8. 8. Solve the following problems. Write your answer on your notebook. Independent activity number 3. Turn your module to page 9. Solve the following problems and write your answer on your notebook. Independent assessment number 3. Turn your module to page 8. Solve the following problems and write your answer on your notebook. What I have learned. For what I have learned, turn your module to page 9. You will complete each sentence. What I can do For what I can do, turn your module to page 9. Read and analyze each problem carefully. Write your answer on your paper. Assessment Turn your module to page 10. We will answer the post-test. Solve the problems. Copy and color the picture using the code in your notebook. 
additional activity. Turn your module to page 11. You have to solve the following by filling in the blanks. References It's time for you to enter your module. Thanks for watching. Bye!